In the morning, I did my stream of consciousness writing. I'd been doing it for the last few days consistently and on and off before that. It's almost like a kind of journal, I guess. But I have my journal where I just list all the things I do. This having a stream of consciousness notebook, it's like a spilling out of thought. It's complementary to the journal that I use every day on my phone. I underline the bits that stand out or seem important. Doing these stream of consciousness writings seems beneficial. There's something about putting thought down onto paper and just letting it flow whatever comes out. When you look back at it and read it, some part of it is like, oh, okay, this is what I'm thinking about. And also while I'm writing, I start thinking about solutions to my questions. So like for the time period where I did, I wasn't hitting all my targets for the day, I would brainstorm how I could possibly do better. And I came to the conclusion that I should use a calendar. And time and time again, I'll find that calendar pops up again and again that I'm not following it or that I could use it on a more consistent basis. That's just one example of how writing the stream of consciousness writings have helped me. I write for a anywhere between 10 to 15 to 20 minutes. And it has been beneficial enough for me to keep trying to do it as a daily habit. Like if you look at my calendar, the S is for stream of consciousness writing. Yeah, that was good. Um, otherwise, the other ones are exercise is E, what W is walking, R is reading, Y is making a YouTube video and F is for flute. And I haven't played the flute in over a week, so I want to get back on that as well. Oh, by the way, this calendar that I just showed you right now, I highly recommend you use a calendar, a physical calendar like this, where you can literally check your habits that you're trying to achieve on a daily basis. Not only is it a good way to see how much progress you have made or haven't made, there's also something satisfying about doing a habit and then checking it off, writing it into the day. By the way, this tip of using a calendar like this as a habit tracker, I got it from Atomic Habits. It's one of the many uh, tips that are in Atomic Habits and it has been a very valuable tip for me to follow. There is a blizzard going on outside right now. Like it's almost like a whiteout. Finally, the Canadian storm has come and hit its stride in Toronto at least. And man, my butt is hurting from yesterday's leg workout, the step ups. I mean, holy shit, I only only worked out for 10 or 11 minutes, but Jesus Christ, my legs are out of shape. I should not skip leg day. I guess it's also leg and butt day because it works the glutes as well. I should not skip leg and butt day. 1% better every day, baby. You want to be on my vlog, Luna? Huh? This is Luna, not my cat, but my sister's cat. And she's much smaller than Tigger. But also a ragdoll like Tigger, even though Tigger is a black face and Luna is a white face. Oh, Luna, Luna! <laughs> she's very affectionate. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha.